Building on the hip hinge, we're gonna add in a 45 degree turn, right? So same key points as the last video. Feet stay in a neutral position. Stick stays on our back, shoulder blades back and down. We're gonna turn 45 degrees. We're gonna try to create this rotation around the hip socket, right? Lower body, still facing forward to the best of our ability. Little bit of rotation. We're gonna hinge at the hips and we're gonna try to really get this pinch point right into the hip, right? To the right, inhale down, exhale up. To the left, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. We can pick a side if we're sticky. Inhale down, exhale up. Down and up, down and up. Do three, four, five, or even up to 10 reps per side. And then we can start to snake together or string together some quick hip hinge movements as you feel comfortable and as your hips loosen up. So the first time you start this, you're gonna feel, you might feel a little pinch in the hip, that's a little indication. You're probably not engaging the back side. You've got some muscle tension build up. You have to check out our other videos on how to stretch out those hip flexors to break the compensation from the front to the back. All about the posterior chain. We wanna pull, boom, with the butt, the hammy, no tension in the lower back. That's your hip hinge with a 45 degree turn. Try to do 10 reps left, 10 reps right, and then string them back and forth, nice and quick, as you get more comfortable with the exercise.